Hey, what's up guys? Just a quick video today showing you guys some of the best things you can install on the brand new iOS 12.2 jailbreak. So you guys know what to do. If you enjoy videos like these, let's get directly into things. Tweaks and sources are located down below in this video's description. So as you guys can see, I'm using my iPhone 6S Plus, but I have all of the native iPhone 10S gestures, accessing multitasking, even summoning Surrey with the power button now on this device. And this is all done with Neptune. Next up, I have the famous dark mode on iOS 12.2, entirely free with the tweak called Dune. Now it customizes the entire system UI from the dock to the folders, to the widgets, to the notifications. So the really cool thing with Neptune is once you have that installed, then you can install other iPhone 10, 10s Max tweaks like Jumper right here. So I can use that toggle right there to jump directly into the Messages app. Also on the lock screen, I have Lisa installed to give a brief overview. Just tap to get everything back and again, swipe up with Neptune to go to the home screen. And very lastly, I have the tweak called Jellyfish to give this custom time right here at the top with leave me alone, so do not disturb does not have that notification, just has that little moon icon. Now, all of these tweaks work on iOS 12.2, but I still do have a lot installed on my 10s Max, so I'm gonna go ahead and demo them on this device. Next up, we have floating dock right down here to bring the iPad style dock to the iPhone. You also have awesome gestures to go to the lock screen, to go to the control center, just like that. So along with Dune, another alternative is called Notifica to give you guys new notifications as well as colorize your widgets, colorize your notifications, and you can have these be separate and uh, they look pretty awesome all in all. Next up, we have either 13 HUD to bring the iOS 13 style volume HUD to iOS 12, or my personal favorite is called Sonos 12, which places the volume HUD indicator right here up in the top left status bar. So next up, we have Safe Shutdown. It's an awesome tweak to add more options here, but the really cool thing is, on its own, once you guys reach 5% battery, it's actually going to put your phone in an ultra low power mode state. So when you guys finally get around to plugging it in, you won't have to re-enable your jailbreak. Once your phone is charged enough, it will wake up in its jailbroken state. I just really love music tweaks, guys. We got a couple going on here. We have Sylph on the home screen to bring a smaller UI to the lock screen music controls. We also have next up two to uh, basically pick and choose what song is coming up next on your queue. Just select a song and then click next. Then we also have Mashuda Infinity right here at the bottom to bring this awesome music visualizer to iOS. Of course, one of my favorite all-time tweaks for iOS 11 and iOS 12 is called Better CCXI, which basically just redesigns your control center. I also have Magma Pro going on here to colorize these toggles, but one that I wanted to share with you guys is called Power Module, which quickly lets you respring right from the control center. So if you guys want an all new redesigned settings app, there's three tweaks I have for you. One's called Shuffle to basically bring tweaks right here in its own category at the very top. We also have circle settings to redesign those logos. And then we have better settings that redesigns everything else and adds a dark mode to the settings app. Still, this one will never get old. It's called Zenth, where you can hide other applications behind a main application so I can have all my social media together. I can have Google Maps right below Apple Maps and things like that. Anyway, that one's called Zenth. Again, with the redesigned home screen layout, you have tweaks like Iconator 11. There's also Boxy 3. That's the one I'm using just so I can quickly redesign the look of it right here on the fly. And this one's pretty minor, but if you guys notice in the background, I don't have any icon labels. Well, when I begin to scroll, the labels quickly appear and then they disappear when I'm no longer using them. And that one's called Shy Labels. So next up, we have Bubbles to completely redesign the Messages app. You have these awesome bubbles right here on the message pane, but within them, you also can colorize your message bubbles themselves. And another one directly within this app is called Whoops. So when you go to send a message, you have a three second countdown before the message is actually sent so you can cancel it if you have a spelling mistake or if you didn't mean to send it. 
Again, right here on the keyboard, if I swipe up, I have copy log, which basically is just a clipboard history manager. So as you guys can see, I have 60 snippets that I can go back and quickly paste once more directly into my message thread. And I thought this one was a pretty cool one. So Homelist has been updated. So you have the Apple Watch interface on the very last page on your home screen. Or if you guys wanna take this to a whole nother level, we'll end this video on a brand new tweak that just came out and it's called Honey. It really does bring the Apple Watch interface to an iPhone. So if that's something you guys wanna do, there's a tweak to do it now. Anyway, that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed it, you know what to do. Thumbs if you liked it, subs if you loved it. We have some more awesome content coming later this week, but until next time guys, this is Tony signing out.